Welcome to another daily Minecraft video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Fabric Client for Minecraft. So, right here, we have a bunch of different things to look at. Number one is the Change Version button. If we click on Change Version, as you can see, you have versions that go all the way back to 1.8.9. You have all major releases since 1.17, right here, available and playable. If you click on a version, it's going to give you the Fabric version only. So, Fabric Client is a very Fabric exclusive launcher. And if we go over to Mods right here, and as you can see, if we go over to our instances, we only have Fabric here. And if we go to something like 1.8 and click Browse Mods, what's going to happen is it's just not going to it's just not going to allow us to actually browse the mods. It's quite unfortunate. All you'll have is Optifine or 1.8.9, but it is what it is. So here I have two mods, and I'm going to be showing you how to add mods to an empty instance. So you can click on Add on Mods, and what this is going to do is it's going to open up the specific mods folder right here. So what you'll end up doing here is just putting in the jar files, as well as any dependency jar files, and you are going to be able to actually use the mods, as long as they don't conflict with any of the features of Fiverr Client itself. That's going to be a bit of a trial and error process to figure out, and it's very case sensitive. And now, let's talk about the ModRenf integration. As you can see right here, we have Browse 1.2 and 1.5 Fabric Mods. So you have every, basically every single Fabric Mod that is on ModRenf, as well as some Fever specific ones that uh, Fever has decided to include, like HD Skins, or Skin Layers 3D, or Origins, CIT Resue and Illuminations, Effective. So it's a pretty cool one, it's pretty cool. If we go over to Hypixel, there are, there's a Hypixel section, a Performance section, a Tools section, and a Fun section. So, you know, all of these are pretty cool. So, what we can do is go over to Modern, for example, let's say I want a mod that changes game mechanics and adds economy or whatever. We have Visible Trades and Diamond in the Rough, Renewable Diamonds in the end. We have Villager Timetable, a tool for visualizing, visualizing villager uh, schedules. So you are able to filter the mods, everything is uh, here is available from Modern. You don't have access to Modern for research packs or shader packs, but Modern is a pretty easy tool to use in and of itself. I will probably be making a video about how to use Modern for itself at some point. So next we have the skin section. So here you just add a skin file and you're going to be able to change between skins. You get, uh, we can change the background of the skin to see what the skin will look like under different conditions. And if we go over to capes, we'll also have all of our capes. So these are all of my capes. Like, I have the Menace Cape, the Purple Heart Cape, the Home Cape, the Pan Cape, the Mojang Office Cape, the Yearn Cape, the Common Cape, the 15th Anniversary Cape, and of course, the Followers Cape. So, I have a lot of, I have a lot of these capes. And if you have capes, you'll be able to change that as well. Here, you can also change your skin to be slim or classic at any time. And if we go over to servers, which is the final one, no servers created. Do you want to host one? So if you click on create server, you're going to be able to create a server. So let's say I just want to create a uh, server with seven slots and I'll just give it five gigabytes of RAM, just like that. Actually, no, I'll just give it free. And I just host it on the newest version on paper. And I just call it something like Haven, so caven.fabramc.gg, and we just click on create server, accept EULA, it's going to create the server, and if we click on start server, we'll be able to see that the server is going to start running, as you can see the server runs basically instantly, so yeah, you can even host servers using Fiverr Client. So, it's pretty cool. And if I just go over to play and launch up the game, 
we're going to be able to look at some of the features in game as well as joining the server. Go over to servers. I'm just going to copy the IP. And as you can see right here, we have Minecraft. And if I go to multiplayer, add server. There we go. We have our Minecraft server. So if I just go into the server, we're going to be able to see that the server works. So yeah, that is how to host a server on Fabric Client. It's pretty cool. And if we click Escape and click on Fabric Settings, we have a lot of other stuff we can change. Now this UI might look a bit familiar, as this is basically the same thing you have for a Lunar Client. You can change stuff around, you can move it around, it even gives you access to centering tools. You can go to settings right here and have a mod menu. And go to here, it's going to give you all the general settings, like borderless full screen, server geolocation, chroma scale, speed for chroma, show mods in chat, no, and stuff like that. Really cool. Really cool. You have keybinds like leave server. And I wonder if uh, I just do that button four it just automatically leaves the server so yeah that is how to use fabric client if you enjoyed the video or found it useful don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications and i'll see you in the next one peace